Hey guys, welcome to the world premiere of a very important car for Volkswagen. In fact, it's the best selling car that they have here in America. Can you guess what it is? Well, it's right here, but you know what? Let's not show it to you. Let's unveil it the real way by pulling off the beautiful cover. And no, I wasn't sitting in the car when they pulled off the cover, but I was just checking out the interior because it is new and it is refreshed. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know where the word Tiguan comes from. And if you know, let me know in the comments below. But let's start with all the changes. All right, let's start with the front. And if you're noticing a family resemblance to the Atlas, well, that's on purpose. There's a new fascia, and of course, this being the R-Line, this is the more aggressive, the more sporty, the more fun version of the Tiguan. And in the back, of course, there's a new Tiguan script underneath the Volkswagen logo to let all the people following you know that you indeed are driving a Tiguan. Of course, there's also a new version of 4Motion. For some reason, every automaker now is deciding to switch up their logos. It's a thing, and Volkswagen is part of that thing. Hey guys, Andre here. I interrupt your video for a quick special announcement. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some sort of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? Uh, ouch. And the best way to treat it is to get ahead of it while you still have hair left. You used to have to go to a doctor to get a prescription, but now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and have hair loss medication sent directly to your home. Keeps offers the only two FDA approved hair loss products to help save your hair and one product at a price you have not seen before. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash TFL or click in the link in the description below to save 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash T-F-L. And like I said, the biggest change is on the inside. Now, of course, Volkswagen now has three crossovers. Uh, this Tiguan competes in the most popular class. Think of the RAV4, the CRV, but underneath it now is the new Taos, and above it, of course, is the Atlas. Uh, and with that, they've decided to move the Tiguan up market. So what you'll notice here is a lot more touch screens. There's a standard eight inch screen, but this car has the 10 inch screen. And if you look around, you'll notice that the controls are haptic. In other words, they're like your iPhone. Some of them are still real buttons, but the ones on the steering wheel, and of course the ones for the HVAC are now touch feel. I'm 6'2", and if you look, I fit very comfortably back here, even with this massive panoramic sunroof. Now there is something interesting in the new Tiguan, and that is if you want the two-wheel drive version or the front-wheel drive, you get a three-row Tiguan. If you want the all-wheel drive like this one, you get the two-row. Now that's good news if you don't need a third row and if you want four-wheel drive because Behind the second row in this four-wheel drive, or four motion as Volkswagen calls it, is just a ton of room. Plenty of room for things like, well, your skis, your ski boots, or perhaps a stroller if you're a young family and you gotta move the Bambino around. Under the hood is Volkswagen's E8 888. Now, if you're not a Volkswagen aficionado, that's basically a two liter turbo that puts out 184 horsepower and 221 pound foot of torque. It is paired to an eight speed automatic transmission. And like I said, it can be had in two wheel or four wheel drive. Now, Volkswagen was kind enough to give us this sneak peek at the new Tiguan. And one of the things they let me do is do this, spin it. There you go, you can get a better look at it as I give you some more important information. First and foremost, it's gonna be available sometimes this fall. It's made in Mexico, and there are two new available colors, uh, King Red and Onyx, what's it called? What, how, how's it? What? Orcs. Oryx, Onyx, Orcs, O-Y-X-Y, I don't know, it's white. There's a very bright white and a very 
red, king's red. And of course inside, if you like the interior, there's a lot of new materials on the inside. It's very similar to the Atlas in a lot of ways. Now if you're looking to purchase a Tiguan, Volkswagen has simplified the buying process by going from five to four models. There's the S, the SE, the SEL, R-Line Black, and of course, no, it's SE R-Line Black, all right? Yeah. So there's the S, the SE, the SEL Black Line. No, it's not. So there's the S, the SE, the SEL Red Line Black. No, it's SE. <sighs> so there's the S, the SE, the SEL R-Line Black. No. All right, now I'm gonna get it for sure because it's right here at the S, the SE, the SE R-Line Black, and of course the SEL R-Line, and this is what you get with all of them. Now, there are a few things that we don't know yet. Uh, for instance, price, which I hope is coming soon. Uh, fuel economy, uh, which should be similar to the previous generation, but once again, not officially announced yet. And of course, we know that it will be available in the fall of 2022. So here's a little bit of personal opinion. I love the fact that Volkswagen actually uses real names for a lot of their vehicles. You know, the Taos, the Tiguan, and of course the Atlas. And this is an old story, but I bet you a lot of it know it. At the beginning of this video, I ask you, where does the word Tiguan come from? And that of course is, well, Germans, as Germans will, had a contest to name the vehicle and somebody decided to take the word Tiger and Iguana and stick them together and you get, you got it, Tiguan. All right, now there are different drive modes, uh, including, get this, an off-road mode. So if you guys are out there and you want to do a little bit of light off-roading, Volkswagen now has this little rotary dial that lets you choose the different kinds of modes. And one of them, hurrah, hurrah, is off-road. How does it do off-road? Well, we'll have to wait until we actually get behind the wheel and can try it out. Well guys, thank you for joining us for this world premiere of the new 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. And I wanna thank Volkswagen because they did lend us an Atlas. And before we came here, we actually went and saw some great sites in LA and did kind of a little vloggy review. So as always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching. Remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, honest and independent real world reviews. See you guys next time, ciao.